This oh, you didn't see us play this yesterday. Well then. Yes, as Crispy says, Dead Cells is a roguelike. It's out today on Steam, early access, although we did play it last night for a while because I'm really enjoying it. It's left a very good first impression on me. It has some persistence. It has an upgradable skill weapon system. A little bit of Dark Souls, but I would compare it more to Castlevania, personally, in the way it plays. What we play is that slime that takes control of this corpse. That is half 40% uh, of the gold I had in my previous run. This is what it looks and fights like. Subs don't see the ad, but the ad counts as seeing it. I don't think that's literally true, but I mean more in the sense that if you're paying me for a Twitch sub, then you're giving me much more money than an ad would be worth. Oh, actually, have they entered you yet? Nope, still coming soon. Okay, just checking, because there has been a couple of small updates. Ow. This is a very nasty start, holy hell. I needed that. So we pick up those blue things and they are cells that we use to unlock powers if we get to safe zones. If we die, we lose them. Will I'm intrigued how much? I believe they're charging $16.99 in dollars, but if you buy now, again, keep in mind it's early access, they are doing a... Uh, 10%? No, 15% discount. Which is very fair, I feel. And they also have a list on the Steam Tour page of what's in right now and what they plan. I think they've guesstimated that like 60% of the game is in currently. Oh, he delayed his charge. Yeah, was it Crispy who said that the health works like Bloodborne? Because you are totally right. I regen uh, some of my damage there. I approve of your waifu. It was nothing to do with looks. Also, I can't remember if this was included in the part I'm cutting for YouTube. Someone asked me who my Persona 5 waifu was. I like her because she's got a good personality. I like that she comes across as all sweet and also a bit ditzy, but then when she gets her Persona, she becomes an absolute badass. It doesn't take any shit. But also has, like no experience with human emotions, so I relate to that. If what is this thing you cut? Oh, why is it so framey? We weren't having this problem last night. Hmm, weird. Can you take me to this thing you humans call an arcade? You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, try not to ask me anything about things because, as I say, I'm not very far. I'm at the start of the fourth palace. We have to go this way. Yes, we do. Oh, look, it's a free thing and it's the shield that I keep on getting and I don't want. Uh, I suppose I didn't use it last night, so we'll use it this time. Secrets, secrets. Oh, whip. I'll take that instead. Ha! You can't block indefinitely, it's, it's that long. That's how long the animation is. I'm gonna get you. Told you. Electric Whip 1, 84 damage per second, damage plus 5%, join the dark side. I will, thank you. That's probably fine. Speaking of, what are all the things and the other things? That's a very good question. If you are a little bit more specific, I might be able to answer. Or, one of the devs might turn up again. They were hanging around, or the lead artist was hanging around in the chat last night while we were playing. Answering people's questions about the game. I imagine bigger streamers than I are playing it today, though, so we might not. We'll see. Ooh. Money and a level up. I 
I think health first is always a good idea. Whip doesn't do much damage, sadly. <laughs> you can attack really quickly with it, though. No iframes as an in invincibility frames. This roll has iframes, yes. You can roll through enemies, roll through attacks. You can also duck under attacks as well. Ooh. Oh, new blueprint. I swear I've picked up that force shield before, so I must have died on the run where I picked it up. Ooh, Ice Hadouken. Frost related slowdown lasts four times as long. Ah, uh, yeah, that's better. It looks cooler, pardon the pun. It also has a much bigger range than the animation would have you believe. Hmm. He's not going to move. Oh, he is. And there is other weapons as well. Hopefully we'll find one soon. Love being sub zero. Sub zero. You did die. Okay. I'm glad it turned up in an easier area then. Anyone know if golf with your friends is PC only? Currently, I believe so, yeah. There's a shop down here. Oh, the mad lagger. Hmm, how much gold do I have? A 4,000. This plus Firebomb is a very good combination, but also 10% less damage taken. 50% damage on a poison target. 50% damage on a poison target. Don't you weeb me! <laughs> I kept on getting that from Stallion all last night when we were playing it. If we get 2,000 more, or 1,000 more, I'll come back and buy this. So this is the sword that douses people in oil, and then fire attacks do more damage. Next time you play this, could you move the bit spin so we can see your map? I don't think you need to, and I can do that so you can see the full one. You don't need to worry about blank, let me worry about blank. Ha! I do want to see, is there anywhere I didn't go? Yeah, no wait, no, that's where I started. Oh wait, no, that's where I started, so I can keep on going left from where I got the, or dropped the beginner's bolt. In general, I don't like moving the bit spin because I have it perfect, and if I had to reset it up, I'd probably arse something up. Oh. No. The bleed sword is fine, but no. Didn't mean to hold the heal button either. I've cleared the place out. Even if I missed a secret, I don't think it's going to be a secret worth a grand. It's okay, we'll hold on to the rest of the money. And we will go to the Promenade of the Condemned. Bye, Ray. See you later. So now we get a little checkpoint where we can cash in our cells.
because you do lose them if you die. So that's us handed in that blueprint as well. Alright, what was I doing? Unlocking the better blade storm, we'll do that. Then maybe we could upgrade the firebomb, because we have it. Five more damage. And then we'll just bung the spares into... Yeah, I want a random melee weapon. Actually, no, I really should be putting into that so I can heal twice rather than just heal once. What is this one? Healing three and four. Okay. This looks pretty. It really does, yeah. Come on, Angelic. Help restored. Huzzah. This should just be a chance to get stronger, ideally. If we don't die. The lead artist of the game that reminded me of Prince Persia said, White pants and long socks, Prince of Persia. It also reminds me of Prince of Persia as well, so I'm happy he reacted like that. Prince of Persia is indeed white pants. The console gamer recently wanted to start playing on PC, however, I have no idea where to start, like what kind of PC to get. Any advice would be appreciated. You're going to get a million different opinions on what the quote-unquote best PC is for you. It depends on what you want it to do, on if you want to play games that are like top of the line. If you just want to play indie ones like this, you don't need a powerful computer. If you want to know the stats of mine, they're written below the stream. But I've had this for over a year, so keep that in mind. Get frozen. Ow. Get frozen. And also on fire. Slow down and on fire. I should go back for that carrot. The character doesn't have a face because the character you're playing as is the kind of glowing thing. You're a puddle of slime inhabiting a corpse. I think. At least when you respawn after losing a run, you, you spawn as a green slime and climb into the body. Oh wow, that insta killed him. <laughs> Why are you a slime inhabiting a corpse? I don't mean to judge or anything. I don't know. I just... I just kill the things. Can I freeze that even when it's protected? Oh, you can! Now that I did not know, that's interesting. I found a secret carrot. It's a lot of enemies. I love the combinations of powers and abilities and items that you have in this. These white ones teleport around to follow you. But you can actually also get their power and it's amazing. Flick runs like a weep. You do have a, a somewhat ninja-esque style, I guess. 1,200 gold for my left trigger and right trigger bombs to do more damage and quicker cooldown. Is that worth it? Yeah, I think so. 
So we've got level 3 we uh, specials. Level 1 weapons. And that's it. And 1 HP upgrade. No, it's not doing the little run. That's the, the hands behind you bent over. Ow. Oh, can I not grab that? I think I might be screwed. Get up, get up, get up. I don't think that should have happened the way it did, but we're alive. This door was sealed nine minutes ago. Can I have a little look at what's down there? You've got to go real fast to get in one of those doors. Oh, not again. Ah, there's how you do it. Keep forgetting you can actually just open doors because I just destroy them mostly. We'll take a strength increase. Went from golf to basketball to Mega Man to Prince of Persia to Strider Hero. Or Hiru? What is his name? Hiryu. That's the one. Burn! Oh, what is that up there? That is the room you would get in if you were fast enough. So it's actually just for a bunch of treasure by the looks of things. Yeah, I thought that'd work. Hundred and twenty gold from the secret, not too bad. I love me my platformers, then I think you wouldn't go wrong with this one. Six or seven damage, damage plus ten percent, plus one to your skill stat. That is better than the grenade. We'll take that. Get double frozen sun. Sturdy shield. Mm, no. What are the blue balls for? They are cells. They're in the bottom left there above gold. If you get to a checkpoint, you can cash them in to unlock or power up stuff. New weapons, new skills, new anything. Can't afford either of these. I was also quite concerned about how the blue balls question was going to be answered. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for no one going the obvious location with that. A better firebomb? Tier 3. 44 damage, 91 damage per second as opposed to 84. Damage plus 25% and instead of doing damage on a bleeding target, it just does more damage on a burning target. So it's just flat out better. We'll take that. Yeah, if you die, you lose all the cells you have on you. You lose all your gold as well, but I've bought an ability where I get 40% back in the new run. And I earned the permanent upgrade to turn these into vines. And I almost earned another permanent increase when we were playing this yesterday, but I died to the boss. And it was really, really close as well. Always with the explosions. I've not destroyed. I need to destroy the wooden thing, otherwise they're immune. Uh. 
suffer like G did. <laughs> he deserved that. Another checkpoint. Oh good, it's spikes. Break their wood and take their blue balls. Aha! Secrets are denoted by finding glowing runes in the walls and floors, by the way. And because I'm looking at chat, I'll probably miss them. The old sewers. Do we want to cash out yet? I think I'd rather explore a bit more. So let's not. Not quite yet, anyway. Were you okay with the lead designer giving tips yesterday? I can honestly say I didn't see him give any other than the questions I asked him. I was okay with him answering the things I was asking. Anything else? Ow. I did not see. I got health back from hitting the door there. So that went up from 24 fire damage per tick to 37. The lead artist had manners, that is also true. Take that door. Ah, this teleport. See, I bet I would have earned this power. But now all I can do is rub it. Okay, that's enough rubbing. I can't even see what it would get me. The ramparts. I think I'd rather go to the old sewers because I, I was tackling that boss. I almost got him. Nearest teleporter is over here anyway. Oh, I didn't realize you could actually do the roll in the air. Oh, I probably shouldn't have made that. Hello, someone whose name is a collection of letters I don't think can be pronounced. Sithmum? Maybe? Alright, let's cash these in. No new blueprints. 29, I think I'm just going to put the 29... No, 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 into here. I want to have two heals. If I had two heals, I would have killed that boss. I remember when Twitch staff was watching us play Overwatch once. That's when I got my most viewers ever. Concurrently, anyway. It was 1k, yes. Oh hey, I've got a Windows pop-up telling me to update my computer, or rather to restart because of the updates I did. Later. Not now, but soon. Alright. Gotta watch out for the mushrooms that do the spikes, we gotta watch out for floor scorpions. And traps. Not the cart kind, the kind that hurt. I can't afford any of this. The victim suffers bleed damage when it thaws out. Hmm. See, that's the other thing. Even though we're finding same items, they're, they're different tiers, which mean they do more damage, and they have randomized attributes. Or bonus stats, I guess. Oh, I want Knife Storm. 175% extra damage on a burning target. That actually fits our synergy perfectly. I need to come back when I can afford this. 
You can jump three times in the air, damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. It's the first time I've seen that amulet as well. Huh. What's that thing? Yeah, uh, hang on. What? What's the thing that you're liking best about Hollow Knight so far? I like everything about Hollow Knight, apart from Crystal Peak. <laughs> I like the music, I like the aesthetic, I like the characters, I like the smooth gameplay, although I found that if you have it open for too long it starts to get framey. It's just an exceptionally well made game and although they're happy they've sold like 75,000 copies, that is not good enough for a game of the calibre they have made. So if you are watching me play Hollow Knight, I would encourage you to go play it instead because I feel like it deserves much more. I was honestly surprised they weren't at a quarter of a million sales. A nice storm build? Kinda, yeah. I think I missed another question there. Oh. So that's what that does. Oh wait, no, it's the mushroom doing it! It's the mushroom doing it! Get frozen mushroom scum! Ow! That was damage I did not want to take. Oh yeah, there's a good chance of it being on the Steam Summer Sale, so... You can make... It, but keep in mind also... Hollow Knight is what, like... $15? That is a ridiculously good value... for a game as good as it is. That is stupidly good value. I was also amazed at like how little it cost to fund as well. Oh, that does explode. Just wish it was for PS4. I believe they are working, aren't they working to bring it into consoles? Actually no, right now I think they might be working on DLC. You put me in the poison, you bitch! When the character works normally, it reminds me of Jar Jar Binks. Oh my god, he's right. Alright, I can I can never walk ever again. Gotta run or roll everywhere. Oh good, floor scorpions. Burn him! You just ruined the game for like No, it's fine. As long as I never walk, I will be fine. Regen the HP, regen it. I'm going to have to use my, my heals soon though. And I only have one. Floor scorpions, is that like toilet squirrels? Yes. Oh, I forgot how long I... Look how much damage that did to me! Alright, that's, that's fine. It's chasing me! Slowed down, frozen, and on fire. Ooh, that looks like a very shiny blueprint that I'm going to lose when I die. <laughs> Rare blueprint for the whip. Oh yeah, we found that once before, but I also died on that run too. It's harder to cash in your blueprints. Oh, secret room too.
Make it to the exit and kill all the enemies without getting hit. Oop. How about no? seconds. Nope. Oh, but I did it! I actually did a challenge successfully! I couldn't look at chat while I was doing that, but I managed to do it. Electric Whip 6. 177 damage per second, plus 55% damage, plus 100% on a burning target. Enemies hit explode upon death. Join the dark side. It's better. It's better than Frost Blast. I failed every single one of those I attempted last night. <laughs> Let's hope we actually get a chance to use it before I die. Whew. Oh, shop. A healing shop. Well, there's an enemy attacking me. <laughs> Where are you? I'll be back in a minute, shop person. Oh, no, a suicider. Um... HP to live? Mushroom, when I find you, I will destroy you. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Everything is fine. Get whipped, son. Uh, we only need the carrot. It's good to know I can afford another one if I come back, though. Or even the big heal if I live. Never seen this game before, any chance I could get a quick explanation. Dead Cells is a roguelike, very akin to Castlevania, in the way that it plays, in my opinion. You collect cells, you unlock new weapons via blueprints, you can power them up using your cells. There is permadeath. No two runs are the same. Great music, great animation. It's on Steam Early Access, so it's not done yet. That's really the only negative. I will be doing a proper kind of like first impressions video for YouTube once I get around to it. Probably, probably tomorrow. Yeah, look how much the damage from the whip goes up from 37 to 50 something if they're on fire. Oh, hello, Floor Scorpion. Almost had me there. Burn! <laughs> Actually, I think it's even higher than I thought. Burned. Is that really a negative? No, not necessarily. It's just that certain games... I don't think this is one of those, incidentally, but I mean games like... Daisy has been in early access for like three or four years. I mean like that. Where it's no longer about finishing a game, it's it's about business. Ooh, flashbang. Flashbang four. 114 damage, stuns nearby enemies, plus one health. Did I take that just for the health? I don't think I do because I like the frost and the fire. 
It's good though, but no, no. The frost is a little bit, like, I'm not going to say OP, but very, very easy to rely on. Oh, explosions. <laughs> Florpian. Oh no, it hit me twice. Well, we just got a checkpoint, so I absolutely should go back here and buy another health. Thank you, shopkeep. Plus one health for the boss. I like being able to freeze the boss. Assuming it's the same one, it does work. You Well, I don't even know if these are the proper game bosses that are in. I, I, I call, Oh, it totally is down here. It summons a random elite version of a standard mob that's just super, super powerful. And last time when I was doing this last night, it spawned a giant ass skeleton with a big sword. And I almost had him. This will be a good chance to see if it's set, actually, or if it's random. Here we go. It's the same guy. He likes his teleports, but I like my phrases. Ow. Oh, that has such a range on it! Did I get him? I got him! Teleport power. Teleportation! This room permanently gives you the ability to use the teleportation tombs. I no longer rub them. I caress them. Nice! Hello, Violet. Oh, I'm going to interact the hell out of you. In a minute. If I can get back out, because I want to go buy that health. I cannot get back out, never mind. Teleport me. Okay. Thank you, chat. Hmm. I should probably go buy health before I attempt this. <laughs> so that means it's now worthwhile again going back to previous areas because now there's teleporters I can make use of. The layout's not the same every time, but they always seem to be there. Now I feel more comfortable trying this up here. It's like being pervy with a statue. Technically I'm being less pervy because before the option was to rub it. Damn you. Suicider! Oh, this is just all the nasties. Plus one skill for more power and cooldown improved, although the cooldown is already pretty damn fast. Hello, friends. Even the part of particle. Oh, hello, floor scorpion. Particle effects are really good. Hey, hey, you, get over here. Roadhog hooks unsuspecting victim. This looks a lot harder than when I first started watching. It does ramp up. I've got a good setup going here, though, with the freezing everything that relies on enemies burning. Wait a minute. Is that a different boss? Or is that a different location to earn the same power? Because it's not, it's not glowing red like the other one was. Uh oh. Um, hmm. Okay. It's an elite slime! <laughs> Come down here and fight me, I dare you. Uh, 
I don't think it can. Can I? Oh, oh, oh damn it! <laughs> I can't cheese it then. Actually, maybe I can. Can you hop up here? Oh, god! It got bigger. Oh, now it teleports. So that like push back and stun was it getting to level two or, or powering up or something? Gotcha. It only dropped a sword though, not a power. But it's a better version of the thing I'm using. Plus 30% damage on a bleeding target. Enemies hit explode upon death and freeze for 1.2 seconds. 330 damage per second as opposed to 246. Yes. So uh, that would have given me the teleport power had I not already earned it, I think. Called an ugly worm. Thank you for the bits, Death by Bacon. There's a lot of attention to detail in this. That is very true, and it's one of the things that made such a good first impression. Ooh, free carrot. Oh. I don't want to do this. I don't care that you've been naughty. No, I don't want to hit you real hard. I'm a naughty chest, I deserve to be punished. I can't, I can't, I want to, I want to cash in. Sorry, sorry, curse chest, no. Not this run, not for now. Ah, here we go, here's a friendly chest. Do it? No, you see, what happens is, you get given a curse where if you don't kill 10 enemies without being hit, any hit of damage insta-kills you. Fire grenade 5, 100% damage on a burning target, enemies hit upon death, freeze effect. That is just a better version of that, right? 63, yeah it is. Perfect. Can I please get a teleport to a new area so I can cash all this in? Don't do it, think about the rare blueprint. The Black Bridge, I've never been here before, let's do it. We cashed it in, we got it cashed in. That was a good, that was a good middle section. Now let's die somewhere new. After we cashed these in, of course. Ignores shields and deals a critical hit when striking at maximum range. Alright, we'll unlock that just so it's unlocked. So now it has a chance of turning up randomly. And then... We have exactly enough to get healing potion too. It was meant to be. So my Estus flask has two charges now. And this will be three charges. Yeah, for 120. Did I just witness a living chest demanding that you punish it? Yes, you did. Why don't I buy that fire knife in the shop? I'm not sure which fire knife you're meaning. Oh, unless you mean back where I was. 99, 595, damage plus 30%. Plus 20% damage when inflicting a critical hit. A swarm of biters crawls from your victims. We've had a weapon that had that swarm of biters thing before. I guess we'll try it instead of this. It does less damage, but the whip even with the 100% on burning, doesn't really do that much. We'll give it a go, why not? I now I've got something to spank that naughty chest with. Adding quotes is a mod only thing. You can suggest quotes to Stallion. Did you actually add the, qu the cursed chest? I actually am absolutely okay with that. That's fine. Alright, let's see what the Black Bridge is about. Never been here before. It looks great. This could be a boss, actually. The music is very dramatic. Let's just swagger... Like... Oh, it is a boss. Incomplete one. Hello, friendo. Oh, you've got a lot of HP, don't you? <laughs> He's going to have a form change, because this is too easy so far. He's got a shield. Um, hmm. Or he had a shield. That's not doing a critical hit, even though it said critical hit at maximum distance. Oh, that's how you do it. Never mind. That is an amazing synergy if I can pull that off every time. Hang on. 
didn't do it that time because I had the shield up. Oh, yeah. I need to help with that more often. Ow. That is an amazing... Th I should just attack with that. Oh. The music is great. Oh, he's pissed. I sh he's shielded against elements now, I think. Maybe as long as he has that shield up. Oh, hey! Don't start doing new shit, I almost have you. I can't look at you right now, chat. I'm concentrating. Damn. That damn jump every time. I need you to stay frozen for a second while I heal. Okay, don't try and roll through the fire! Oh, the damn jump got me. I almost had him as well. Close. That was a fantastic synergy with that whip doing so much damage on a frozen target, though. The monster forgot the safe word. It looks like the roll's got reversed at the end, though, because he splatted me. That was good though, we actually found our first proper boss, not just an elite. And there's still a lot of stuff to unlock as you can see, and I assume they're adding more. My safe word is harder. <laughs> oh, forgot I didn't have any bombs anymore. Oh, there goes the frames again. I'm not sure why the frames have started going bad on the first tier anymore. I need to get back to like being used to not being super strong. Although that worked out pretty well. Oops, secret. Reason burn him, whip him. <laughs> it's fine, he consented, maybe. One of these days I'm going to have to go super fast to try and get into one of those time doors, but right now I'm more concerned about finding bits to use the the new teleport power we have. Not sure why there's being so many secrets all of a sudden. No, not oof, that was close. Oh, inventory bowl. We had this before as well, and I died. So this is the perfect opportunity to bank it. Bow and infinite arrows, unlimited ammo. There's no such thing as too many arrows. Sure, since I've not used that this time. Yep, let's go infinite ammo. All right. Carve out his heart with a spoon. Recover 1% of your life back with each hand-to-hand -hand attack, but take one times or times 1.5 damage. Ooh. I guess that must be like a rare stat, which is why it's gold. I think I'm gonna buy this for now so we take 10% less damage. And then I'll come back for this in a bit. So we have a turret. And then we get to do Torbjorn impersonations non-stop.
This is going to be super hard without any abilities. Oh good, two shield guys. Yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> That's impossible without any abilities. Do you mind, like, yeah, carrying on? And the shield doing its token turn up as per usual. That is enough money. Arrow spam must be meaning Hanzo. Oh damn. You're right. Plus 175% damage on a burning target. So we want to find burning again. Oops. Ooh, kunai. Yes. Oh, I don't have enough. Must find more money. They destroyed my turret. Could be worse. I could have been hiding behind uh, Reinhardt. Hmm. So this isn't where the teleport is. Where have I missed a route? The music suddenly stopped there. I think I broke the music somehow. <laughs> now it's creepy. Because I can hear all the ambient noise I hadn't heard before. Very well. Oh, it's back! Nothing to be alarmed about. Oh, no, no, never mind. That was just the shop music. Be alarmed! do that. Is the teleporter over here? Ooh! Oh, it's the extra life! 3,000 gold. I so wish I'd seen that before I spent money in the shop. Oh, good. It's a shield. I'm so alarmed right now. Oh, because of a turret? Ooh, skill level up for it. No, I want the kunai. Aha! Ooh, another new area, and it looks really, really spooky. I don't have a good run going here, but I just kind of want to see a new area, so screw it, we'll just go. The Ossuary. This seems very spooky. Wait, there's not even a chance to cash in? Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, wait, no, he's here, he's here. Alright, so we handed in the inventory bowl. How many unlocks have we got left? It's hard to say. I don't know if this is a complete list or not. Let's... Uh, we have 13. Let's make freeze bombs better by 5%. And put the rest in there. Spoop. Yeah, let's see how spoopy this area is. Health restored. I don't even have an upgraded weapon. This is going to be real bad. We have a base weapon. It might just be another boss straight up as well. Walk like Jar Jar. Everything is fine. We're at peace with the world. Oh! These guys are just standard enemies here, eh? Okay. Oh, they're still not as damaging as the boss when we fought, but they're still pretty damaging. Ow. <laughs> Damn. 
I don't even know what this is. It's an enemy, I guess. I see, so it does AoE. My turret will beat you. Told you. Definitely gonna die. <laughs> Definitely. Actually, since we have two heals, let's just... So we can maybe see a bit more of the place first. I saw one of those big guys. I thought I did anyway. Oh, I killed him. I love the look of this area as well. Play of the game. Look at the little damage I'm dealing. A weapon upgrade, please. I'm not seeing any runes here either. Ah, Floor Scorpion! So far... Oh, there's a secret back there. I saw it. You just poisoned my turret. That Floor Scorpion poisoned my turret. Go turret, I'll stay here and wish you all the best. What on earth is this? It's making more. Oh, you've got to kill the actual thing. I can't even see a health bar. I don't know if I'm doing anything worthwhile here. Oh, I see. It's running out of slime in it. So much cheese right now. Hey, I'm, I'm working with what the game's given me in this run. Oh, it paid out with two. There's a free flashbang for us down there. Plus 175% on a burning target, plus 50% on a poison target. It's more damage. We need a flick cheese emote. There's a default Twitch cheese emote. You can just use that one, it's stinky cheese. Wait a minute, what was that? There's a bunch of treasure but, uh, down below. Unless the map is glitching. Oh, it's the timed room. Am I fast enough? No. The shinies are not mine. So we've got another one of those night guys. Oh! There's more damage at least. Whether I like it or not, this is a ranged build. It just is. Yeah, there's the stinky cheese and all right. I see you found it. Oh, 
Oh, the scorpion's trying to poison my turret and for some reason it works even though the turret isn't alive. Hmm. You will main handle and you will like it? Mmm, 50% right? Seriously though, if an enemy could drop like any of the better weapons at all, that would be greatly appreciated. Oh wait, there's a... Alright, if I get another teleporter, teleport back to that left one because I missed a shop on the right. It's a chance for damage. I will, I'll go into it in a second. <laughs> your bow does a ton more damage than the sword, that is true, yes. I broke your door. I can't afford any of this. Just a free level up. These are what I would actually want though. Poisons the victim as well. Two knives for the price of one, more violence for your dollar. Alright, well, if I get 3,600? 3,700, let's say. 3,700. Yes, I am a mixture of Hanzo and Torbjorn. I've become everything I've hated. I'm, I'm essentially ill at this point. No checkpoint here. Hey, Whittle Wan! Thank you for the sub via Twitch Prime! Oh! Enjoy your notes. If you don't know what to write to get any of them, or don't know all of them that are available, they are written below the stream. Wait a minute, what was that? Over there? No, just one of them. Hello, Floor Scorpion. Hmm. Two of those skeleton guys. Two of them. Do it, Tart. Do it. Get him. I'm disappointed that, that hit me from there. Oh. That didn't work out very well, did it? Twitch Prime is having issues? Oh, did it not? Yeah, there's something weird with brand new Twitch Prime subs. Although I thought I saw it in chat. Weird. Oh. This seems very ominous. Hmm. I can keep going higher or go left. And keep going. Oh wait, that's a shop. Um, I think I'd rather have a better sword. What a bizarre layout. Ooh. The prison depths. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, fine. Can we see the map? I well, I showed. I think in time for you to see it. Random starter bowl. I do like the sound of that. I like the sound of just making it more roguelike. At the same time, though. Power up the buzz saw. And get that there.
No twin daggers. Yeah, I decided not to because I'd rather just start another run. I suspect this might be the other boss and I'm in no position to fight them. With my flashbang and my level 1 turret. No, maybe not. It does seem like it's actually an area. I think they might know I'm here. I missed the nothing personnel kid power. Oh good, another one. They have got a lot more health and defense than they did before. A lot more damage. Okay, fine, fine. I notice you, Shadow TH9. Yeah, I want to hold on to my gold for starting another run. Hopefully we'll find a weapon on this floor this time. That's good finding the chest early. Hadouken! Oh, free kunai! This is already a better run. Yoink. Sorry, Frost Blast. Nice knowing you. It doesn't have any special stats, so I think we'll just ignore the infinite ball. Those archers look like rats. A little bit like kobolds, right? Twin blades! Inflicts a critical blow on the third consecutive hit. Yes. Oh. Not yet. Nice notes there, though. Weeb, weeb. Yes, I know. It's fine. Toxic sewers. Oh, we're finding all the new areas. Well, not new areas, but areas to go to this time. Damage reduced by 15%. I want. Let's try and get that. <laughs> I didn't notice the signs in the background before. It's a little bit of weeb leaking out. Only a little bit. They're really good though, not as good as the Bladestorm one, but they're really good. Oh, how many subscribers am I at? Uh, 304 now. A long way to go. To 500, that is. But if you did want to subscribe at the higher tiers, they count for more towards unlocking emotes. I don't have any of the gold emotes done yet, they're on Kurt's to-do list after he's done with his school projects. 
We have no power, so I'm definitely not going to be able to do this, but whatever, we'll try it. If it was nothing but platforming, I feel like we definitely could. Basically, screw everything about this section. <laughs> well, don't you start with the weeb stuff too. Come out of ammo. Uh, thank you, Angelic, for seven months in a row. Bomb the bits bin cannonball. I think you did. Thank you. Thank goodness they don't know how to name down. I only have 25 seconds though. Ah, I'm gonna run out of time if I don't get hit here. Oh, so close. Well, if all you were doing was delivering PC parts to someone else to build it for you, what's taking so long? Hold my critical hits. Ow. Wait, that only did nine? I'm not used to the enemies not hurting as much. Do you know what day of the week you will do a 12 hour stream? Probably a weekend just to give the most people the chance to turn up. Ooh, the dousing sword. No. I have I have something else in mind for my gold, if I remember rightly. Now help. You had other things to do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, or we could just get a free amulet. Drops a bomb when you roll. I've never... We've seen this before, but I never used it. It's the Metroid bomb. I'll use this instead just for the lols. Oh, it's got an awful long delay, though. Hmm. Get bombed. I think it did 25 damage. That's a free health upgrade, though. See what we're doing at the shop. It is 15% damage reduction though, it's not the same as the usual 10. Uh, yeah, I still want it. I wish I could sell stuff. Maybe you can, I just don't know how. We'll buy that just so we have an ability. Do you want me to go back to the toxic sewers or the ossery when I'm eventually ready to leave? A more powerful potato. That's right, I always... Oh. Elle is getting a more powerful potato. I assume people are going to say go to the harder area. I have tried talking to the shopkeeper, yeah, he just says everything's for sale. Toxic, toxic. Well, that's two for toxic, actually, okay. I'm gonna take that as the majority, even though only two people said toxic. One said ossuary. Oh, so now you have weapons? Damn it, now you're drawing. The next vote is the tiebreaker, whoever says one of the two. I'm waiting. Alright. Tiebreaker was Taco Noodles. He said the sewers. Although actually I just realised this is the toxic sewers. It was the other sewers that I got the power from. So I haven't actually finished these. So that's fine. 
Well, it's not fine because instead of urine, there's nothing but poison. But still. 15 cells. I'll take that. So now we get a random bowl whenever I start a new run. Excellent. Uh, where's my healing at? Down the way? Why does it look like there's less bits in the bin now? Because we had a subscription and subscriptions have more weight and set the bits flying. Alright, Toxic Sirs. I don't know them very well. I, I think I actually ever came here off camera. We'll see. That guaranteed crit on the third hit is very handy. Wait for it, wait for it. We attack. Hmm. I think we might be in the red light district. And the floor scorpions aren't as difficult to deal with. No, I'm used to them. Oh, you can just you can just duck under their leap. I thought you had to roll through it. I'm learning. Do you prefer urine or poison? I would prefer the urine because I don't think the urine actually hurts you. I'm not sure. Hello, adorable worm thing. Not so adorable anymore, are you? Also, you're dead. Oh, you're lucky that pipe was there. Thank you very much for the bit, CIB. You just had to fill it back up, didn't you? How? Nice. You know what? It, it's third consecutive hit, even if the previous ones haven't hit anything. Oh, frost bomb though. Choke on your lies and also bleed to death. Yes, I knew that secret was there. Plus 25% on a stunned target. Now you're filling the bit spin with faces. If you cheer too many bits, you do get caught by Nightbot. It's only like a six second timeout though, so it's nothing serious. It's automatic, so it's not Stallion or me or anyone doing it. It's a bat. Is that a suicider? Bleed more. Bleed like Superman. We will take plus one to damage. Because I want more damage. That is a suicider. Hello, suicider. damage up as well after we just spent one. Thank you Screaming Violet. You've um yeah you filled the Ooh. bits bin with Kappa face. It's beautiful in its own way. 
It's also worth mentioning if you just follow the channel, it puts in a special icon. If you sub, it puts in the icon of equal to the months you've subscribed as well. It's just the follow the oh the teleport behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. I want it. I want everything about it. We need to come back. What is this? Poison enemies that hurt you. Meh. I want the nothing personnel, kid. It's so pretty. I know you're talking about the bin, but I'm going to choose you're talking or choose to believe you're talking about the game because it's also true for that. It's so fluid. It's wonderful. It was <laughs> and I want to see it smash. There it goes. Thank you, Fenris Get, for four months in a row. Empty the bin. You did. Well, you smashed. The, you smashed the top layer anyway. Oh. I'm not really getting enough money here. How much was the nothing personnel kid? Like 2,900? That was a 360 crit. <laughs> now you're just competing with each other to try and break it. Which I'm actually okay with. But just remember that bits are real money, technically. I think the bigger the thing, the, the more weight it carries. But again, keep in mind, bits are real money. An elite. What is wrong with his body? Is that guts? Is that... It's like five different kinds of mist. This is probably my death. Holy hell! Yeah, that's pretty sore. He's firing double shot. We need to get him to phase two so he actually follows me down here as well. Oh, the double shot means you can't roll through it. I just need to get him to phase two and it'll be fine, maybe. <laughs> well, that combination oh. attack from Magukski and Yolad probably did some damage. Thank you very much. That is very generous, especially Yolad, but keep in mind, <laughs> bits are real money. You are spending your own real money right now. And if you can afford it, then fine. Oh. But just keep that in mind. I know this is tedious, but I have to bleed him down to the phase where he powers up so he can teleport down here and fight me, because I can't fight him up here. Because he can't dodge him. That's where Sommy coming that time. There we go, now he's powered up. Ah, what are you doing over here? No! Of all the things to die to, it was a crappy archer. Better to spend it on flick rather than drugs. If those are the two options, then absolutely. We have time for one more run also before the, the end of the stream. Oh, hey. So the random bow we got was infinite bow. We're hands winging it up again. For now. Now I have a personal vendetta against every archer. Even more so than before. Chat, I want to try and get to the promenade as quickly as possible. I want to know what happens if you get to one of those timed doors, so... I'm going to rush a little bit, but I want to... I want to find the prom... Ah, oh, it's also very... The promenade will be somewhere that doesn't require a power to get to. Thank you, Violet, for doing the Kragas face a lot. Go, oh, let's let's haste more speed or vice versa, whatever. How how did I get in there? I want those. <laughs> oh, down here. 
Just passing through old bin. Poison enemies are you, yes. Do it. Get out of my way. Take a free blood sword, thanks. Can't stop to kill every enemy, just gotta keep moving. Arg. Oh, nothing personnel, kid. <clears throat> yes, I've been streaming for three hours, 41 minutes, so we, we will be ending soon. But I stream every night apart from Monday, if you're around. Let's unlock a new ball. Now that we get random balls at the start. Ammo 9, damage plus 10%, 10% damage when inflicting, or 20% more when doing a crit, and it does a guaranteed crit every third. Yeah, I'll give it a try. I'm rushing here because there's a door which has a timer on it for a bunch of treasure, and I just want to know if there's anything else in there. And this is the easiest place for me to get it, because I'm used to the promenade. This game needs a co-op mode. That would be amazing. Nope, don't have time for bat things. I teleported behind him and actually knocked him over. Hmm. Wow, this fire is really fast. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. oh, I turned to look at the bits. Thank you, Oracle M, for the bits with whatever the hell that face is. What on earth is that? Unfortunately, I don't know where the time door will be. It's, it's in, like, a random one of these. Um, sure. Must go faster. Must go faster. Get in my way, door. Oh, I thought I killed it. Got you that time, though. Ooh. Thank you, Stallion, who did uh, a moving version of that mode where he gets angry and puts on something. <laughs> what is he doing there? He gets pissed off and then he puts on his music. He's every teenager that's ever existed. Come on, give me my timed door. I've earned it. I've gone as fast as possible. Oh, free health increase. That'll do. Nothing personnel, kid. I just teleported behind the dummy. Who's the real dummy now? Ah, damn it. Come on, give me the locked door. Just once. I just want to see what's in there. Then I can stop rushing a little bit. Wow, we're getting a crap ton of... Oh, it's below me, it's below me. Are you, are you kidding? It was one minute... I thought it said ten seconds and I was going to be pissed. One minute ten seconds? Arg. So close. <sighs> yeah. One minute ten seconds ago. 
Hang on, what's it saying there? When I get five. So you have to get there in three and a half minutes. That is difficult as hell. Wow. Oh hey, there's there's some spikes there. Alright, we can slow down a little bit now. We've got an okay run going. We have nothing personnel, kid. The best ability in the game apart from Blade Storm, maybe. A better can I. Damage plus 15%. Shots pierce the first target. I might equip both again. Critical hits. I think the bow I've got is actually better. As much as I like the kunai. And that the first shot has piercing. What is that we're talking about? Are you talking about Rocket League or Rock Band? I'm, I'm hearing conflicting reports. I couldn't pay attention to chat while I was rushing. I can now, though. I really like crushing those bat things by dropping on them. Can you now do a co-op run of this game? It doesn't have co-op, does it? I didn't think it did. Teleport behind the bat. He was determined to get through those spikes, no matter how much it hurt. And it hurt a lot. Another version of the same bow. Quick bow 3. Damage plus 20%, plus 25 damage on a stunned target. Speed at the detriment of accuracy. Yeah, if I teleport behind someone, they're stunned for a second. So now if I teleport and fire the arrow, it might do amazing damage, I think. We'll have to find an enemy to test. Tandem games like we do of Gungeon. Oh! Actually, I was wondering, if you look in the bottom right, isn't that the seed above the timer? I don't know if there's a way to enter the seed, though. I'll check after this run. Because I assumed it was the seed. No, can't immediately attack them until we destroy this, though. You will rue the day when you're not invincible. Alright, we'll test on this guy up here. No, it did do more damage, but it didn't do amazing damage. I just want to see another kinky chest. They're, they seem to be very common in this area, so we might find one. Oh, I thought there was a platform. My bad. That one was on me. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, more speed. That's the one. I opened two doors for good luck. Oh hey, it's the nothing personnel enemies. It started to do a lot more crits at the end there, but it doesn't stun fast enough. Still cool. Be a true spamzer. These damn dummies. Which could be bled for some reason. <laughs> I really like that spam fire. Oh, we can do this now. 
get, get down there. Oh, so that leads to the prison. Is it just me or is that door a different colour from the last time we saw the prison? Either way, let's give it a go. Was I playing Shiva when he said, I have to blow these guys, excuse me? I think I might have just overheard him in the Skype call talking to some gentleman I didn't know who they were. And I don't ask questions. Inflicts a critical bow when you strike at close range. That would be perfect with the build we have going on right now. That would be ridiculously powerful. Start working towards it. Yeah, most of his quotes are from us playing Resident Evil 5. <clears throat> Alright, hopefully a bit more manageable than the last time I was here, but we'll see. Nope. Instantly nope. How did that not hit you? Oh my god, the damage! I think that is just a three hit combo. Hello, friend. Oh. Hello, other shadow. Shadow 666 power. Apart from those big guys, it isn't too bad. Uh, hmm. This is very Hollow Knight right here. A better version. Poisons the victim. Enemies hit explode upon death. It sounds so good, but I can't afford either of them. Damn it. I just want better teleport. Ow. Teleport skills, that hurt her a whole lot. <laughs> I'll be taking this for a second if you don't mind. Ow, and then I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't realise there'd be so many suiciders, that was about six of the damn things. That hurt a lot.